I'm always doing the most. Finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back. Let it swing right back. Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be transforming my friend's nails and they are super short. So let's get straight into this video and sort these babies out. So I've started off and I've sanitized my client's hands. I'm wearing gloves as I always do. And I'm coming in with the outer space cuticle pusher scraper. So this is the one that's double ended. And I'm just coming in and pushing back the cuticle as far as I possibly can we don't want it to be uncomfortable for the client so it's important to be also gentle at this stage as well and once I've done that I'll come in with the other end of the pusher scraper and I'll just go ahead and remove any dead skin from that nail plate making sure to be extra extra gentle then it's time to come in with our cuticle bit. So this is just the cuticle bit we have listed on the website. I'll have it linked for you guys down below and it's one of my favourite bits that I absolutely love for the cuticle area. Just for removing that excess dead skin and overgrowth of cuticle that's come down onto the nail plate. It is perfect for getting right up into those side walls and the corners and the tricky bits that your file cannot reach. So once I've finished prepping the nails, it's time to come in with the tips. So that wasn't my finished prep, there's other steps that I haven't filmed, but once I've finished prep, I'm coming in with the tapered square nail tips and I'm just applying those to all 10 nails and then I'll be back for the next step. Okay, so here you can see I have finished applying the nail tip. They look super bomb already. Just tidying up the cuticle area makes such a difference. And next I'm coming in with the outer space tip cutters and we are gonna go ahead and trim down the length to the desired length that my client wanted. And then we're gonna come in and shape them up. So if you want to see how I apply tips and a little bit more of an explanation video then I'll have it either linked on the screen or in the description box down below for you guys so don't forget to go and check that out. So next I'm coming in with the 100-180 grit nail files from Glitter Planet. I absolutely love these files. I use them constantly and I've used them for the past, what, forever, like seriously forever i'll have them linked i don't know if i've just said that but i'll have them linked down below for you guys and also don't forget as well to use my discount code ninja10 to give you 10 percent off your entire order so i'm just going to go ahead and shape all of the nails like the one that you just saw me do we will go in for a nice short almond and yeah just something really short and easy and that's not going to be too much stress on that tiny tiny nail plate that we have we could have gone a little bit shorter but my client did want some length there so we kind of went with this and thought that it looked cute so yeah i hope you guys like this length and shape as well Okay guys, so I'm going to be using the number 12 aqua brush. This is the original one that we first launched. We have since gone ahead and launched a new one, which is this gorgeous galaxy aqua brush. I'm not using this one in today's video because I want to do a full video for you guys showing how I prep my brushes, how to take care of them and how to look after them and everything like that. So that's why I'm not using this one in this video. So I'm going to use my previously prepped brush. It is just as bomb and just as beautiful. The Aqua Galaxy Aqua brushes are available now on the website, so go and check those out. I'll link them down below for you guys. So I'm coming in with my primer and I'm just applying a small amount to the nail plate. You really just need to use a minimal amount of primer. Also guys, if you hear my voice a bit croaky, if I sound a bit weird, it's because I've got a little bit of a cold, some kind of chest infection I think, but we'll be fine, we'll get through it. 
excuse me so once i've um, applied my primer i'm coming in with my clear acrylic and i'm going to go ahead and lay down that clear base once i've done that i'll be back to do the design with you guys Okay, so that's my clear base completely applied and dried and everything's ready to go for a full design. So I'm coming in with a grey colour, this one's from Glam and & Glitz. And then I'm also going to be using um, Stone Cold Glitter, which is this gorgeous multi size blue. It's got holographic, metallic, fine chunkiness. It's really, really beautiful. And I'm just fading that on the tip area. You can find this glitter at Glitter Planet. And yeah, we're just going to use that glitter and then also add in some mermaid shards. This design wasn't anything super intricate or super like over the top. It was just something really simple and cute. My friend just really wanted her nails back on. And because I'm not taking clients at the minute, it was sort of just kind of get them on, do something quick. And then when we've got a bit more time on the next appointment, we'll go ahead and do something crazy. Okay. So that's what we did. We just did something simple. Hope you guys still like it. Okay, so once I've finished applying all of the glitters and have the design finished, it's time to encapsulate the nails. So I'm coming in and encapsulating all 10 nails. Once I've done that, it is time to file and buff. First I'm coming in with the round ceramic bit from Glitter Planet, it's absolutely gorgeous, I freaking love this bit. It's great for prepping the nail but it's also great as well for around the cuticle area once you've applied your acrylic or your gel, not gel polish, your hard gel, to seal in that cuticle area and make everything nice and flush and just finish everything off, like you want everything to look really bomb. So this bit does just like gets right down in there because sometimes it can be hard with your hand file to get so close to that cuticle area. So that's what this bit allows you to do. So once I've finished, I'll come in with my hand file, my e-file, finish off all the shaping. And now I'm applying top coat, which obviously is everybody's favorite part because it makes everything pop and look absolutely stunning. So yeah, that is then the final look. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I do apply cuticle oil and all that jazz. Take some photos for you guys so you can see just how gorgeous these nails are and how stunning they were for my client from the short set that we went from, well, from the short natural nails, the bitten nails that we went from to this cute, stunning set. I think we did a pretty good job. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to visit my online store. I'll have it linked down below as well as the discount code. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Share it, do all the good stuff, and always remember, guys, that you are bomb.com. Lit as fuck, and don't ever let anyone tell you any different because you've got this, and I love you. And oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> my chest and throat is absolutely freaking killing me goodbye guys see you in the next one I'm always doing the most, finish my cup and reload Let it swing right back, let it swing right back